In the last video, we tied this 13 part 6 byte cosinant. And I had mentioned about adjusting it, and that if you did a pineapple interweave, you do it here, and if you do a herringbone interweave, you do it out here on the end. And since then, I've had several comments about interweave. So I want to interweave this knot. Now, if you're doing a single strand, doing it all with the same string. Also, if you do a pineapple interweave, you usually start, but you're following on the right-hand side of your standing part. And to do a pineapple interweave, if the knot is finished, you go under two to get into the knot. To be next on the right hand side of the standing end. If you're doing it with one string, when you finish your knot, you're coming out, it'd be the same thing as doing the under two, but this knot finishes right there under this one string, and the second your interweave starts right there. So if I'm doing one string, the same strand. What I like to do is I like to cross to the back side and do my under two. So I'm, it's the same, I'm following this right hand side of this string, even though this is my standing part right over here. But in the finished knot, see how that's going under two coming out of the knot? So it finishes there and my interweave starts right there. So I think it does a cleaner bite on the outside of your finished knot if you're tying the interweave and the base knot all with the same string. But we're going to use two colors. So I'm going to finish this just like I'd normally do. And I'll get my second color and we're going to do a pineapple. So I go under two. And get in on the right hand side of my standing part. And we follow and do what it does all the way up through. So it's just over, under, over, under, all the way through the knot. And if you're using two colors, especially if you're just starting out, it really helps you see the pairs. Okay, now I'm up here to the top, and my next move would be over one, and see how there's two strands before I go out the top? This is the cross. So, if you went here, see you'd be up there, but that, it's not the top cross for a pine, that's a herringbone. It's the second one down is for a pineapple, so I go right under that cross. And now, once you go under the cross, whatever strand you come out with, see how it's coming out with this string? So that is the strand that you will follow down through. So we went up on the right, and we're going to go down on the left doing what that strand does all the way down through. So it's just over, under, over, under, until you come to your interweave string. And that's why it's good if you're just starting out to use a different color because it makes these pairs just jump out at you. But see this pair, these two that are doing the same thing or traveling together, that's a pair. And we want to split those pairs and we're still doing the same thing as that string in the in the primary knot. So we're going to go over two and split that pair and we're right back to following that string with an over one under one. And with a six byte, this 13 six is pretty big knot to be doing a video of an interweave because there's a lot of knots here but by the time we get done you'll really be able to see 
what pears look like. Okay, we're up here at the top. We're going to go over and see we're two strands from going out of the knot. So we know this is our cross right there. It's that second cross down. So we go over and under that cross. And now we're following the right hand side of this string. Over, under, over, under. And that brings us to this pair. So we got to go over two and split that pair. And when we come out, that's the strand we're coming out with, so we continue following it. Over, under, over. And that brings us to our cross. This over, there's our cross. Now, see, here's a pair. So now we go under the cross and one more to split that pair. And we'll do that from now on. But you want to be sure and catch that first one. Now, we're following that strand. So it's over, under, over, under. Now, we come to a, a pair. So we go over two. And there's a pair out in front of us. So we go under two. So it's over two, under two, splitting pairs. Now we're following the string over under. We go over, here's our cross, and there's our pair, so we split that pair. Okay, over, under, over, under. Okay, over, and there's a pair. So we split the pair under, there's a pair, so we go under two, split the pair. Okay, so we're following this over, under, over, split the pair, or go under the cross and split that pair. And then we've got another pair out in front of us. So we go over two, split the pair, under, over, under, over. Now it's over and there's a pair, so we split the pair. So it's over two, under two, split a pair, over two, split a pair, under one. Now we're over one, under our cross, and I pulled that kind of tight so it slid up over my collar, so I want to make sure and pull that down. So I go under my cross and under that one to split the pair. And see how I'm staying on the outside of my collar? So you don't want to yank it clear up on top. Now so you can even kind of pull that to make a hole for when you come back to do that. It's open. Okay, over two, split a pair. Under, over, under. Okay, over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under one. Okay. There's one I pulled tight. Okay. Under a cross and catch her. One more to split that pair. Straighten my string out a little so it doesn't have twist in it. Now I'm going to get myself a room there for the next tramp. Okay, over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Okay. 
Okay, we're following that one, so it's over one, under one. Over two to split the pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over one. Under the cross and one more to split that pair. Make sure I got room for the next time. Okay, over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. We're following the to the right of that string, so it's over one, under one. Okay, over. There's a pair out there, so we go over two. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. And now we just go over one. Under our cross. And one more to split the pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair, under one. Now we go over two to split that pair. Under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Okay. Over two, and then under the cross, and one more. <laughs> Now we're going to go over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair, over two, split a pair, and under one, and over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair, over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair, over two, split that pair. Go in under the cross and pick up one more to split that pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, split a pair. I should have used a little more of my tail. Over two, under two, splitting pairs. All the way down through. Over two, under two. Over two, under two over two and that brings us back to the start where we went under our two to start and that finished a pineapple interweave in a 13 part six byte casa knot i hope you will try to do a pineapple interweave and thank you for watching